A great boating weekend ahead, but a lot of our lakes wouldn't exist if not for a series of dams that generate hydropower. Some are more than 100 years old, so now Avista is making some much-needed repairs. KXY4 Chef Humphrey working for you tonight with a look at the unique work that's going on at the Post Falls Dam. And Jeff, this $13 million project involves underwater welding? Nadine, before crews can repair the southern spillway here in Camelon Park, they have to build something called a coffer dam. That's where these giant sandbags will come in real handy. The process also involves, as you said, diving to the bottom of a 30-foot channel and welding together steel to hold back the water so workers can reach the original dam. The Southern Spillway was built in 1906 and holds back the water that keeps Lake Coeur d'Alene at its summer elevation. But more than a century of raging spring runoffs have taken their toll on the dam. Getting it back in shape involves building a temporary dam in front of the old one, and that means divers welding steel underwater. Well, after we dredge and we prepare the foundation, then we have to start setting up the sheet pile and the basically the, the template structure, the steel template structure. Cooney Construction is building this curtain of steel to hold back the water. In the middle of the coffer dam, there's a platform for the crane that'll do the heavy lifting on the project, including the 2,500-pound sandbags that'll help hold it in place and keep most of the water out. If we know that we're going to have leakage, we're going to deal with it. We're going to make sure we meet water quality standards, and, and we have a, a bunch of systems that we'll have in place to take care of the seepage. Once the water behind the coffer dam is drained off, crews will begin the process of replacing spill gates so water levels can be more efficiently regulated. Currently, it takes about two and a half hours for us to open up all, all six gates. We need a crew of approximately three of a Vista crewmen to open the gates or close them. So this process will allow us to have automatic gates and we'll be able to add a touch, touch of a button actually open the gates. So. A Vista also wants to get a look at the spillway's concrete and make sure it's still structurally sound. The Post Falls Dam makes enough power for 14,000 homes and if it failed, we'd lose more than just electricity. It keeps Lake Coeur d'Alene a lake. If uh, if it wasn't in the way um, half the, half the year, it would be you know quite a quite a low elevation, and we wouldn't have the great recreation we did without the dams in the summertime. By the way, Avista begins its annual drawdown of Lake Coeur d'Alene the day after Labor Day. Construction on this project should be wrapped up by March, and that includes Nadine the creation of a new overlook and returning this park to its more natural-looking setting. Reporting live in Post Falls, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.